Hello, welcome to this demo of the new School Analytics system. This is a typical School Analytics mark sheet. Um, down the side here, we have pupil names. And in the first few columns, we've got a summary of what they got in the old sublevels. Uh, most schools have got lots of information in sublevels. So if you're using sublevels or have used sublevels with, assist with Assessment Manager, this is a good way of showing them and we can keep that continuity of information. So there's the first few years worth of information. This is a year four group. So we've got end of year one, end of year two, uh, key stage one and end of year three. Down there we end up there's an end of year three sub level. And here's um, a new assessment for the end of year three down the side there. Uh, and we're using the four step scale that Capita are also using with their program of study mark sheets where our age related expectations can be for example, year three emerging, year three developing, year three secure, or year three mastered. So that's what we've typed down here for last year's year three results for these pupils. And next to it, you'll see we have a baseline assessment for year four. So this is an assessment that the school has made uh, either at the very end of year three or the very start of year four. Uh, and it's this assessment that all the progress during the year will be measured from. This column here, it could be a separate assessment that you do as a baseline in its own right. Or if you wanted to, you could just take last year's assessment down there and cut and paste this column into this column. Or you could take the autumn half term assessment and again, cut and paste this column into this column. It's quick and it's simple uh, and very effective. Here we've got our autumn half term assessment and this is a school where the autumn half term assessment is different from the baseline assessment so you can see here Laura Adams has gone from a 4E to a 4D. The system has calculated that that's one grade of progress uh, and put the number one in this progress column here. It's also coloured it green that's because we set an expectation um, that uh, our pupils will make um, uh, one grade of progress uh, during the autumn term and if they make that one grade of progress during the autumn term then they'll turn green. Our expectation for the spring term is they'll make two grades of progress. So looking at the spring term columns here you'll notice anybody who's made two grades of progress is green. And our expectation further is that by the summer term pupils will have made three grades of progress there. So that's why anybody who's made three grades of progress is green on the summer half term progress column. So you see, we set our expectations slightly differently uh, as, as the year progresses uh, and that enables us to highlight pupils who are on track to make the amount of progress that we want. You notice I'm using four colours here. I'm using red to indicate pupils who are off track and who aren't going to make um, um, even two points of progress or two grades of progress over the year. The yellow indicates pupils who are on track to make two grades of progress over the year and the, the green indicates pupils who are on track to make three grades of progress over the year while the blue highlights our outstanding progress which is four grades of progress over the entire year. So the colours indicate whether they're on track to make different levels of progress. Uh, because this is a, a straightforward mark sheet you'll see that we can put the summary rules on there and the summary rules give us some averages. So I can see here, looking down here, that at the baseline, our pupils were averaging a mean grade of a 3S, uh, year three secure. And by the summer half term, they were averaging a grade of a 4E uh, there. We've also got an indication of points here, points of progress. This is not the old concept of APS progress. This is uh, a new scale, if you like, um, where each of those grades is separated by one point. So between a 4D and a 4S, for example, we have a one point difference. But that's given us some average figures, which again can be used as an indicator of progress. Because if we look where their pupils started on 35, 33.5, they made 34 by the autumn half term, 34.3 by the end of the autumn term, 34.57, 35.03, and so on, showing us that broadly speaking, our pupils are making progress term by term. So that's the summary columns on there. If I take the summary columns off, again, if you've used assessment manager before, you'll be familiar with this, but I can take any of these columns. And if I go to the column header and do a right click there, I can show the grade distribution. Probably the most useful 
button in the whole of assessment manager is this one and this one tells me what percentage of pupils have achieved each individual grade so for example there this is the summer half term results so this is telling me for example that 46.67 percent of my pupils have achieved exactly a 4s Probably the more useful figure, though, is this one, the cumulative frequency on the other side here, which is telling me that 60% of my pupils have achieved a 4S or higher, just there. And we can even swap that around. So instead of showing percentages, it shows the count of pupils. And even, very simply, very straightforwardly, create a graph of those results as well. We can also show a grade distribution on the column next to it, the progress columns, the number, the number figures here, zero to uh, uh, whatever it might be in terms of the progress they've made since the start of the year. And again, the same option there, show grade distribution, tells me this bit of information. This is telling me that 20% of my pupils have made exactly three grades of progress. 36.67% have made three or higher grades of progress. And again, I can put that in terms of a count of students or a graph. And again, people who've used Assessment Manager before will be well aware of the usefulness of the group filter here. If I click on the group filter, it comes up with all these filters that I can apply. So if I want to have a look at uh, potential differences uh, in terms of the results of the boys against the results of the girls, I can click on Apply. This is now a list of all the boys in the class and any statistics that I show, for example, the grade distribution there. These are the statistics for just the boys in the class. Likewise, with the summary, these averages at the bottom are the averages for just the boys. So I'm not going into the whole detail of, of, of how you apply it, different filters, uh, but that's it. That's a, a quick overview of how the mark sheets in the new school analytics system work. Thank you.